Hey guys, in this video, let us learn to create a microservice using Spring Boot. Creating a microservice using Spring Boot is just like creating a REST API but with some extra libraries. Let us start this right away. I am in Spring Toolsuit. Let us create a new Spring Starter Project. File, New, Spring Starter Project. Because we are working with the product application, I will give the name as Spring hyphen product app hyphen. This is a microservice. The service that we are creating is related to product. So I am just giving the name as product. Group ID is product. Type is Maven, Java version 8, packaging is jar, language is Java. Group ID is com.productapp, package is com.productapp. Description is product service. Click next. Here we need to select the dependencies. Already I have told you, creating a microservice is like creating a REST API. So we need Spring Web as the dependency. This also has embedded Tomcat server. Together with that, you need discovery client. You can search for the discovery client here. Eureka discovery client. Already I have it on the top, so I am selecting it. These are the two main dependencies that are needed for creating a microservice using Spring. Together with that, let me also add Lombok. Lombok is a dependency which helps to reduce the boilerplate code in case of domain models. And let me also add DevTools. Select it. Click Finish. We are not working with any database, so I have not added any dependency related to the database, that is any driver dependencies. The application is getting created. Now the application is ready. Let me open the main class. The main class should be annotated with at the rate enable Eureka client or at the rate enable discovery client. If you are going to work with Netflix OSS, you can annotate the class with at the rate enable Eureka client. The purpose of this annotation is. Once this microservice is registered to the Eureka service registry, it should be visible for the other services. That is why we are adding this annotation. Let me add at the rate, enable discovery client is also available, Eureka client is also available. Let me select Eureka client. The next thing is, we need to have a proper project structure. I want to have a controllers package, service package and a model package. Here we are dealing with product, so let me create a product class. This should be in model package. The class name is product. Let me add few properties here. Integer product ID, string name, string brand, string category, double price. I will also add the Lombok specific annotations above this class. At the rate data, at the rate no ox constructor and at the rate all ox constructor. If you want to know what is Lombok and how to use Lombok in your application, Please watch my video on Lombok. The moment I have added all these annotations, you can see that the appropriate getter setter methods, to string, hash code equals, uh, default constructor and parameterized constructor are getting added. Next, let me go and add the controller class. So the package is controllers. The class name is product controller. Let me annotate this with at the rate risk controller and at the rate request mapping. This is a microservice which is dealing with products. So let me give the name as product service. We will add the methods to this product controller later. Next, let us create the service layer also. Product app dot service is the package name. The interface name is product service. The service layer is going to have all the functionalities. Here we are not going to deal with the database. So we will be working with hard coded values. The idea over here is I want to get the list of products list of products by category and get product by id. Let me add the methods. Find all which will return a list of products. List product. Then find by category which takes string category as parameter and then find by id which takes id as parameter. It returns only one product instance. Let me import everything. Done. Now let us create the implementation class also. Product service IMPL, add product service. Click OK and click finish. So in the implementation class is ready. This is a service layer. So I need to annotate it with at the rate service. Now we are not going to connect to the database. Instead we are going to work with the hard coded list of products. Let me add a method, a private method. Private list product, show product list. 
return arrays dot as list. Let me add a list of products here. Now let us write the functionality for all the methods. For the first one, it is simply return show product list. For the second one, I need to filter the products by category. So it is return show product list dot stream dot filter which takes product product dot get category dot equals category dot collect collectors dot to list. Okay, similarly, let us write the functionality for find by ID also. Return show product list dot stream dot filter again same product product dot get product ID double equal to ID dot find any. If you want to handle the exception in case if the ID is not available, you can use or else throw. Here I am just going to use direct get method itself. If the ID is not available in that scenario, what you want, we can decide it later. Now the service class is done. Let us move back to the product controller. In the product controller, I want to have all the three methods that we have got in product service. So let me copy the three methods. I will make the methods as public and have at the rate get mapping above the methods. So for the first method, at the rate get mapping slash products. For the second method, at the rate get mapping slash products by category slash curly braces category we need to add the path variable at the rate path variable similarly for the third method slash product by id and here it is product id and here also at the rate path variable product id now we need to auto wire product service let me add that at the rate auto wired product service product service I'll write the functionality for all the methods it is return product service dot find all and same way here return product service dot find by category by passing category and in this case product service dot find by id by passing the id. I missed a return statement. Let me add that. Okay. Now my controller is also done. The next thing is we need to add the configuration details for this particular microservice in a YAML file. So let me open src main resources. You can select it, right click new file and you can create a YAML file. You can give it as application.yaml. This way you can do r Select application.properties, control C, select src main resources, control V. And now change the file name and the extension. It is application.yaml. Now the file is ready. Let me open it. Here we need to give two main configuration. One is the port number in which your microservice will be running. If you are running multiple microservices, it is mandatory that you need to give a different port number for each and every service. The second thing is the details of registering your microservice in the Eureka service registry. So let us add it one by one. It is server.port. The port number let me give it as 7081. The next configuration is I need to register my microservice in the Eureka service registry. So it is Eureka.client dot service url default zone default hyphen zone colon give the url of the eureka service registry already we know that it is running in uh, port number 8761 local host colon 8761 okay together with this we can also give a name for this microservice the purpose is when you are see, visiting the Eureka service registry dashboard, you want to have a name for your microservice so that they can identify the microservice by the name. So let me give the name for the service spring.application.name. By convention, they try to give it in capital letters. So let me also follow the same convention product hyphen service. Okay, I think all good to go. Let us revisit the application again. The first thing is the main class should be annotated with at the rate enable Eureka client. The purpose is 
only if the annotation is added this micro service will be visible for the other micro services then we have the domain model as product i have added lombok specific annotations with few properties when you add lombok specific annotations all the getter setter methods to string default constructor parameterize constructor everything will be generated automatically then we are having a service layer to take care of the functionalities here we are not using any database instead we are working with a list of hard coded product values i have added a list of mobiles laptops and tvs once this is done we are having three methods one is to get the list of products the other one is to get the list of products by category and one product by id and then in the controller we have annotated it with other rate risk controller because this is a product service i have given the url as slash product service we have also added the appropriate mapping for all the methods okay now this is completed so you are having a service registry and you are having a micro service the first thing is you need to have your service registry running so let me start it select it and run now you can see eureka service registry has started together with that i will also run the product micro service select the main class run you can see that there are two consoles one is the eureka service registry the other one is spring product app product let me open eureka service registry the eureka service registry is running in port number 8761 and also it has registered product service within itself you can see the details given over here okay and next this is the spring product apps product the application is running properly okay it's moving on spring product app product and this is up and running in port number 7081 now let us visit the eureka service dashboard let me open the browser first i need to run the service registry it is localhost colon 8761 now i have got the eureka dashboard the product service is registered with the eureka dashboard you can see it the name that we have given in the yaml file is shown over here product service the service is up and running you can see it over here and it is giving the url where exactly the service is running because i have got docker installed in my machine and docker is running so it is coming with this docker url that's it else you can call it using localhost colon 7081 also let me click this link we are not working with actuator so let me remove this and give the proper uri path it is product hyphen service slash products now i should get the list of products so similarly we will try with the next one also i'll copy this url products by category slash mobiles i'm getting the products based on a particular category and also of course i'm having laptops so it is giving me the list of products based on a particular category and i am having one more product by id so i will just do it over here product by id i am having id from 1 to 8 let me give the id 5 so here i have got the output so as i told creating a micro service is just like creating a rest api using spring but the difference over here is you have added few other annotations so that it is getting register itself to the eureka service registry and it is visible for other services as of now you will feel it easy going forward we will be adding few more micro services and learn how they are going to communicate between each other in a synchronous manner and in an asynchronous manner we will also be using the netflix oss libraries like histrix ribbon zool and fin fine so this is how we create a micro service using spring boot that's it thank you